Hello, 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 hello. Well, it's me again. It's the professor, or better, professor ingenieur, okay? Or in Spanish, in ingeniero with a U at the end, okay? Well, I'm here to make more exercises about cross product, okay? Uh, well, you can see the my lessons about cross product. I, I will link them here above this video, um, and you could see there my theories about cross product. Okay, this is only for exercises. Okay, for example, they give me this vector u. It's a uh, one, two, zero. Okay, and they can give me v it's 2 2 1 okay well you need to know that cross product is only for th three dimensional um, vectors okay for the space euclidean space okay so the first thing i need to to make is to draw the vectors okay i'm going to draw 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 it very big so we can see it very good okay okay this is z this is x and this is y okay so they asked me for u one two zero okay so this is one well but i'm going to make it bigger this is one uh, one uh, divided by 2 uh, so this is 1 okay this is 1 and this is 2 this is 1 and this is 2 this is 1 and this is 2 okay I want I want it very big okay so I'm drawing it huge massive okay so 1 2 0 is 1 Two in the y uh, in the y and zero in the z. So it's here. It's this point here. So the vector is this one. This one is the vector. Okay, one two zero. This is u. You see? Okay. So now I'm drawing v. It's two two one. So two is here. 2 is here and 1 is here so I'm going here to the I'm going here and drawing here like a, a parallelogram uh, like a box okay okay you see okay so it's here from from the origi origin okay from the O to here. I'm going to draw it in red. Is this vector here? Okay. So, well, I couldn't. I couldn't have chose a uh, worse vectors. Okay. I'm going to to draw another vector. I don't like this one, the red one, because it's so close to the black one that I don't like it. So. I'm going to choose another vector, for example, this one, uh, W, this one green, okay, W, uh, well, for example, 2, 0, 1, okay, this vector. Uh, I draw, I need to draw it, okay, uh, 2 in the X is 1, 2 here, and 1 in, in the Z. 0 in the, in the y x okay so it's here is this point here so the vector is is this one you see is this one here the green one this is w okay they asked me to calculate the cross product between a uh, v cross W, for example, 
okay? V cross W. So they are, they are asking me the cross product between this red one and between the green one, okay? We can calculate it by two methods. The first one is the definition magnitude U times magnitude sorry, magnitude V times magnitude W times sin of alpha uh, and alpha is the, the angle, the smallest angle between those vectors, okay? The smallest angle is this one here. The biggest angle is the one going by the other by the other side, okay? Uh, well, you need to know that two vectors are always contained in the same plane, always. What's the reason of this? If I choose two vectors, for example, this one, this, this pen, and this one, for example, these two vectors, there is a plane always con containing them. Which one? This, my hand. Or if I choose these ones, for example, there is a plane containing them. Which one? My hand. You see? Always. Doesn't matter which vectors I choose there is always a plane containing them both, okay? That's very important. So, okay, I just need to calculate it. By definition, uh, the problem is I don't know uh, alpha. I don't know, I don't know it. How can I calculate it alpha? I can calculate it with the dot product, okay? What's the dot product? The dot product is V multiplied by W, but it's dot product, not cross product, equals magnitude of V plus magnitude of W plus cosine of alpha. Okay, this is the uh, dot product. If you don't understand this, I will make also a video explaining the dot product and I will link it here in the screen, okay? Okay, so... I can calculate alpha, I'm, I'm going to use the dot product to calculate alpha. It's the only reason I'm going to use a dot product, okay? So, uh, I have V two two one multiplied by 2, 0, 1. Uh, this is dot product, this equals 2 times 2 is 4, plus 2 times 0 is 4, plus 1 times 1 is 5, okay? 2 multiplied by 2, 0, plus 1 is 5, okay? 5 equals magnitude of B, that is the square root of 4 plus 4 plus 1 multiplied by magnitude of W is 4 plus 1 multiplied by the cosine of the angle. So I can put here the angle alpha, it's 5 divided, sorry, cosine of alpha is 5 divided by uh, the square root of 9 multiplied by the square root of 5. So I can, I can figure out alpha from here is the arc co cosine of from 5 divided by the square root of 9 multiplied by the square root of 5, okay? The arc coseno, it's the, in Spanish, coseno, oh, 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 okay. So, I need my calculator here, HP calculator, and I make this operation. 5 divided by the square root of 9 multiplied by the square root of 5, and the arc coseno, I make it. Okay, is 41.8 degrees, okay? 41.81 degrees is my angle. So now when I have my angle alpha, I can uh, make the cross product, this one here. Sorry, you can see it's, it's the screen is so small. Okay, you can make this product here. The cross product, so we make it cross product. Here is cross product. We make the square root of 9 multiplied by the square root of 5 multiplied 
by sin of alpha, 41.81 degrees. So this equals, I make it with my calcul calculator, it equals uh, 4.472 4 4.47 4.47 4.47 4.47 4.47 Okay, so what's this? This number, 4.47 Okay We have here our vector W is this one this is the, the green one, okay I, now it's black but it used to be green, okay and here this is the red one that now is black, is V. Okay, so alpha is this angle here. And this angle here is 41.81 degrees. Okay. Oh, sorry, my guys, you are not uh, seeing anything, but now you are. Aren't you? Okay. So what's the cross product? V cross W so is from V is the first one to W is the second one by the shortest angle is this one alpha so is from here to here so I make my right hand rule uh, I put my right hand is this one so I put my my fingers in the in the direction of the first vector of V so I put them like this you see my hand is upside down you see so I cross my fingers and I go from the first one V to the second one, one W you see from V to W from V to W okay this is the direction so where is my thumb uh, finger pointing to it, it's pointing downwards so the cross product, uh, the right hand rule, tells me that the vector resulting is going downwards. So the vector resulting is this one. Is perpendicular to both of them, or better, to the plane containing both of them, which is this one, the plane containing both of them is w this one, you see. Is this one, this is the plane containing both of them, so the cross product is down going downwards and is perpendicular to this plane. You see? Okay, and I'm calling this a, uh, for example, A. This is my cross product, A. So I could have calculated it by other method, okay? Well, and this 4.47 is the magnitude of this vector. This vector is 4.47 units okay so I could have calculated it by other method I'm going to show you so you won't tell uh, I don't show you every method okay the other method is by by the determinant I like it much better than than the definition this is the definition and I don't like it so much I like more the determinant so the determinant uh, it works by the Sarus rule. Uh, if you don't know, uh, if you don't understand it, I will explain it. I will link it here also up, up in the video. You can see I'm going to link a lot of things. I'm going to link many videos here. Okay, so I draw my determinant with a y, sorry i, j, k. So you know this is the canonic base of the of the of the space you know this is i this is j and this is k is canonic base those are vectors uh, which 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 their magnitude are one okay one unit okay so i draw here they ask me for uh, v cross w so i i write first v so i write it here is 2 to 1 I, I write here W it's 2 0 1 okay and now I'm going to calculate the determinant 
by the Sarus rule, okay? Well, I will explain. I will make another video explaining this. If you don't understand it, you uh, need to watch the video I'm going to make about Sarus rule. And once it's made, this video I will link it here in the in this video, okay? So you calculate the determinant. It's I multiplied by two minus zero plus j multiplied by 2 minus 2 plus k multiplied by 0 minus 4 minus 4 so uh, I'm calling this a okay so the a it's 2i minus 4k okay so this is the same vector uh, which we calculate in the with the first method with the definition but I like this method better because uh, you j don't get just the the magnitude you get also the vector you can draw it you can draw your sorry you can draw your base okay you can you can draw your base this base here you see you can draw here W you can draw here V you can draw here a plane okay a plane containing them both is mm, maybe a plane like like this this plane and you can draw this vector 2i is this one 1 2 minus 4k 1 2 3 4 okay is this one here so this vector is a is the cross product between v and w is perpendicular to the plane in blue okay is perpendicular and we could also calculate its magnitude uh, from this vector you know the magnitude of a is the root square between 4 is the square of 2 and plus the square of 4 is 16 so is the square root of 20 we make it with the calculator and it equals 4.47 okay so is the same magnitude as the one we calculate by the definition you see 4.47 so to resume to resume I will tell you we have two methods the definition method and the determinant method I, li I like better the determinant method because with this method you uh, both uh, get you both figure out the vector and the magnitude and with the definition you only figure out the magnitude okay uh, well uh, and I will also make some videos one explaining the Sarus rule I will link it here up in the in the screen and I will make another video explaining dot product so you can understand uh, how I figured out the angle between V and W this angle 41.81 degrees okay so now, uh, best regards, uh, I say hello, say hello, say goodbye, like, like the song, okay? Best regards and have a, a nice, wonderful, motherfucking day. Ciao, ciao.